Hey everybody, welcome to Video Game Corner. It's me, Jason, and uh, today I'm going to let you know about the uh, free games on uh, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and the PS Vita. Uh, today I will be showing gameplay from um, SteamWorld Dig. Um, it is a uh, PS4 uh, game um, that I've played through, and I, I have a lot of fun playing it. There's some this is me playing uh, on it, obviously. Um, it's a uh, really cool game where you play as this robot, and um, you have to mine and get all these materials to sell at the above world, and you uh, use them to upgrade your character. You also um, are pointed into different directions to upgrade, um, to pick up upgrades for your character, and then at the end, you there's a final boss, and there's a little bit of a story to it. You're basically bringing back this robot mining town. It's pretty fun. <clears throat> it's very, you know, it's cartoony style game. Um, it's it's got that addictive gameplay because you want to keep upgrading your character. You know, it's got that. You know, you're basically constantly trying to level up your guy to uh, make him stronger and stuff like that. You even level up as you get, and every time you level up, you get more uh, upgrades available. So it's it's pretty fun. Um, <clears throat> but um, it was actually, uh, I can't remember which month it was, but it was a month where um, they gave out the Binding of Isaac, the new Binding of Isaac game, um, Rebirth. And this was the other free game um, on the PS4, and I snatched this up. I, I snatched them both up, but I actually enjoyed playing this a lot more than The Binding of Isaac. So, um, you know, to each his own. But anyway, the games coming out this month are... For the PS4, we have Transistor, which is a... Um, um, one of those three-quarter uh, view... What do they call them? The, um, I can't remember... But anyway, it's the uh, three-quarter view, um, like in the old style of a lot of the older uh, RPG games. Um, not the top-down. It's kind of the top-down, but at an angle. Um, I, I forget what to, um, God, I forget what it's called. But anyway, it's kind of like you... Um, it seems like it's an... R I, uh, from what I read and watched on it, it's like an RPG. Um, but it's done... Um, it's a little bit different, and you also... Uh, it has like a computer thing where it's, it's like the transistor. It's kind of a weird... It's pretty cool. I downloaded it because I want to try it out. Um, the other game uh, that's coming out for the PS4 is Apotheon. And Apotheon looks pretty cool. It's done with like the artwork of like uh, um, Greek uh, myth, uh, Greek um, artwork. Like you see on like the... Um, those... Uh, 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 I don't know what to call them. Uh, you basically see them on like uh, pots and um, on their artwork and you know the the ancient the the old stuff. But um, basically, that's how you play your character. It's kind of like a hack and slash type RPG. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. I also downloaded it uh, for the PS3. Uh, we're getting um, Yakuza 4, which is an um, action game. It's kind of also in the style of like. Uh, the uh, uh, the mafia games, things like that. If you've I've never played any of the Yakuza series, but um, I uh, wanted to give this one a try, so I'll be downloading that. And then Thief, uh, which is a first-person um, stealth game, which they're you know putting out. I'm not my thing because I'm not a first-person guy too much. Um, I think that's this is the kind of game that should be a third-person. I actually, I'm one of those people. I think the only games should be that should be first person are like Minecraft and very slow horror games. So it kind of brings you into it. But that's just my opinion. Um, but uh, we're getting a couple games for the Vita. Uh, one of them is Kick and Fennec. I don't know much about this game at all. It, but it looked like a, um, a platformer. You know, one of those uh, cutesy little platformers. Uh, it looks like there's a kid and some little robot. Uh, also, uh, Rogue Legacy, which I've been wanting for a while. Now, Rogue Legacy is also available on the PS4. I'm actually waiting for my download, and it's like, uh, you're like a little knight running around. Kind of reminds me of Shovel Knight, but a little bit different, and it looks really cool. Um, I watched another YouTuber by the name of, uh, MF Pallytime. Pallytime was playing, he introduced me to Rogue Legacy on his channel, <clears throat> and, uh, I've been waiting to get it, I've been wanting to get it, and, uh, 
I was actually a while ago. I was going to pick it up on a um, on a sale, and but I was waiting to get paid um, with my uh, my uh, mu- my uh, paycheck every month, my disability check, and once it came in, I went and checked, and the sale was over, and I didn't want to spend the money because I have to be careful, cause, and be a, sometimes I have to be a cheapskate. So, but it's officially for the Vita, but you can, I think you can get it on the PS3 and PS4 also. I know you can get it on the PS4 because I'm downloading it as we speak. Or as I speak, maybe not we. But um, anyway, guys, uh, it looks like that's it. Um, there's sometimes they throw in more that they don't always announce, but you got to kind of just go and look. Um, anyway, uh, this is Video Game Corner. Um... Your home for reproductions of the any of the Nintendo Entertainment System and stuff, and uh, just me being my crazy self and being a goofy bastard and not so handsome sometimes. But my wife loves me, so I guess that's good enough for me. Anyway, guys, um, I will talk to you later, and uh, thanks for everything. Bye. <laughs>